As your network grows, you'll find yourself managing a lot of different kind of devices. You'll have routers and switches. There may be Linux servers and Windows servers, all kinds of different workstations. You've got firewalls and packet filters and URL filters and proxies. There's so many different devices on our networks. And one of the challenges we have is each one of those has a different type of information that it's collecting in its logs. A Windows server has an event log. Your Linux device has a system log that you could go through. Your firewall has a completely different set of access logs inside of it. And all of these log types are very, very different. But obviously, there are some things that are very similar that correlate data flows, traffic flows, and information between all of those different devices. So the key for you is going to be finding a way to centralize all of these logs into a single database or a single consolidated view. This gives you a number of benefits. One is a centralized data store for all of your logs. If you ever need to gather any information, to access any information, to run any queries, or see any log, you know you've got it all in one place. And it's archived and backed up. And you can go back over a very long period of time. Another nice capability is that now everything can be correlated together. You can view an entry in an authentication log that correlates to a flow of traffic through a firewall that also correlates to somebody logging in and using an application on a server. And you can see that all from your centralized base of logs. Another nice capability is now that all of this information is in one place, now I can create some nice log reports. I can create long-term trends. I can start to see changes throughout my network, things that I would never be able to see unless I had all of that data in one place. The way that you get all of this data to one central log collection point is with a standardized protocol called Syslog. This is the system logging protocol. It's very standardized. And almost every device that you plug into a network these days can support a syslog functionality. The content that's being sent from the devices is not standardized. The content that might come from a firewall will look very different than the content that might come from a server. Those types of systems have their own definition of the logs that they're sending in. And usually, you'll configure your syslog consolidation tool to understand and interpret the data properly, whether it's coming from a firewall, or whether it's coming from a Windows server, or whether it might be coming from a Linux server. This syslog consolidation device is obviously going to need a lot of disk space. We're picking out all of these different devices on our network, and we're sending log information to this one consolidated point. So the more disk space that you'll have, the longer you'll be able to go back in time and see exactly what was going on a month ago, three months ago, six months ago, or perhaps even longer. Generally, this workstation is also pretty beefy. It has a lot of memory. It has a lot of CPU associated with it. Because we're usually connecting to this to run reports, to query log information, you need information as quickly as possible. So your queries will go much faster if you have a lot of memory and a lot of CPU cycles that you can dedicate to the queries and management of that log. Usually, these syslog consolidation tools are more than just a gathering point. They generally have some advanced software associated with them that allows you to produce reports, to create some graphs, to easily query the data, give you a lot of functionality, allow you to really sift through the data and mine through the data for exactly what you're looking for. These are not simple tools to use. They require a little bit of training, a little bit of time to understand exactly what's going on. But when you really start getting familiar with a syslog consolidation tool and you're able to find the information you need very, very quickly, this becomes a very powerful tool to use in your network management arsenal.